Hi friends, it's good to see you. I hope you're having a great day and I'm so excited to spend some time with you today. We are going to read a book, do a little song and finger play, and we're going to learn about measurement. And there are a lot of different types of measurement. The measurement we're going to learn about today is called linear measurement. Can you say that with me? Linear measurement. Thank you. Linear measurement is how we measure how long or short something is. So sometimes we can use a big tape measure. You might see mom and dad using that sometimes to measure furniture and it rolls up tight into one spiral and sometimes you can pull it long for a big distance. But we're going to use a smaller measurement that you've seen in the classroom before. We're going to use a ruler. Now a ruler is sometimes a piece of wood or plastic that has different lines to show us how many inches something is in length. So one ruler is almost always 12 inches, which equals one foot. <laughs> we have two feet, but this is one foot. And on our ruler, we have 12 numbers. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 inches is one foot. We're going to use our ruler later so we can measure some, some things together, okay? I wanted to start with our book for today and you'll see why, because our caterpillar that inches along in our book measures things with his body. Our book is called Inch by Inch. So do you see the little caterpillar there? He's going to be measuring some things with his body. The author is Leo Liani and Leo wrote some pretty beautiful words for us to read together and was the illustrator. One day, Hungry Robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Oh my goodness. Gobble, gobble him up means have him for lunch. Don't eat me. I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin, then measure my tail. Do you see him here? That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. See, he's inching along. That means he's moving up and down, up and down. Just think said the robin. My tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where the other birds also needed to be measured. Do you see the inchworm is riding on his back? The inchworm measured the neck of a flamingo. That's very long. He measured a toucan's eek. Do you see him going along the colorful beak? The legs of a heron. That's a long trip. And the tail of a pheasant. You can't see the body of the pheasant, but you can see how long the tail is. A whole hummingbird. A hummingbird is smaller, isn't it? So he can do the whole body. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. So the inchworm had an idea. 
I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. What do you think he'll do? The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured. Can you find him? Hmm. Inch by inch. Until he inched out of sight. Do you think the nightingale found him? The end. So the inchworm got a tricky idea. He thought, I don't want to be eaten by the nightingale. So I'm going to measure how long the nightingale's song is, how far the noise of his song can reach. And I'll just keep going and hopefully he won't find me for lunch. That was a fun book, wasn't it? So the inchworm, likes to inch and hump along. And I have a fun song that we can sing to do that with our own body, okay? Will you help me? Okay. Can you go like this, like you're an inchworm humping along? We're going to call this inchworm a fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar. Will you help me? Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar humps along, humps along. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar humps along out to see the world. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar goes to sleep, goes to sleep. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar goes to sleep in a warm cocoon. What will happen when the caterpillar comes out? He'll be a butterfly, ready? Someday he will be a beautiful butterfly, butterfly. Someday he will be a beautiful butterfly out to see the world. So Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar is a lot like the inchworm, where he just humps along to measure things and explore the world. So now you get to explore the world with me. I'm so excited. To be able to count and record how long things are, we need to practice writing our numbers. Will you help write them with me? Yes? Okay. So remember, 1 to 12 is how many inches are on a ruler. But guess what? If you learn the numbers I'm about to show you, you can write any number in the entire world. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it together my clipboard and I have a red pen so you can see my number as well. Let's start with the number zero. Zero means nothing. Zero starts at the top. We do a magic C. Keep going around and stop. Zero. We use zero to show us zero. We also use it when we make ten because a one and a zero together make 10. So sometimes we need zero to help us make other numbers too. Let's do our next number. Ready? After zero is what number? You know, one. One is fun to write, isn't it? It's pretty easy. We draw a line from the top, straight down, one. What comes after one? Do you remember? Two. You're right. Two is a big curve and a little line. Ready? Big curve, little line. Two. Did you write two? Two. After two is three. Three is two curved lines, but they're, they're smaller. Watch. Small curve, small curve. Three. 
three. After three is four. I know a lot of you are four or you're turning four soon. Four is two little lines and one big line. Are you ready? Little line, little line, pencil up. Big line, four. After four is five, that's right. Five is a little line, a big curve, and another little line. Will you watch? Little line, big curve, pencil up, little line, five. You have five fingers on your hand, five. After five is six. That's right, a lot of you just turned six. Six is a big curve with a little loop. Will you watch? Magic C loop the bottom, a big curve, loop at the bottom, six. After six is seven. Seven is quite easy as well. It's just two lines, a small line and a big line. Watch, small line, big line across, seven. The next one is a tricky one, but if you do it with me, I bet it'll be easy. Watch me first, okay? Magic C, turn, stop, connect, the ends. Eight, we did eight. Magic C, turn, stop, connect the lines, eight. Last one, are you ready? This is the last number you need to know to be able to write any number in the entire world. Are you ready? Small curve, magic C, up like a helicopter, and back down and stop. Nine, did you do them all? Awesome, thank you for writing with me. Now that you know all of those numbers, guess what? We can measure some things and we'll be able to write them down and record everything. So I have my ruler. Are you ready to measure with me? The first thing I'm going to measure is a spatula. Let's see how long the spatula is. I line it up on the end and I see how far it reaches. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It goes to the seven inches line. So I would record this by writing a seven. The spatula is seven inches. Should we do another one? Okay. I have a tambourine. Let's see how long the tambourine is. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. The tambourine is six inches long. Hmm, what was longer? The tambourine or the spatula? The spatula was longer, it was seven. The tambourine was six, less. What if we measured the height of the tambourine? Should we try it? One, two. The tambourine is two inches tall, two, six across, two inches tall. It's fun to measure both ways, isn't it? Okay, one more object. object. Are you ready? I have a pen. Let's see. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, Six. The pen and the tambourine are the same length. Hmm. Do they look the same? Hmm. They're not really the same shape, but guess what? When I put them together, they're the same. 
Now, remember the spatula was seven inches. What do you think will be more? The six inches of the pen or the seven inches of the spatula? The spatula. The spatula is taller by one inch. You're right. Thank you for measuring with me. That was fun. Your mom and dad have this paper if you would like to find all of these objects in your house. Find a ruler and measure with them, okay? You can measure a fork, a shoe, a key, pencil, tissue box, a book, a crayon, banana, glass, toothbrush, scissors, or a can. All of those would be fun items that you can measure with a one ruler. And then you can write how many inches you've discovered your object was, okay? Thanks for measuring with me today, friends. It was really fun to read a book, sing a song, and learn about inches with you today. See you next time.